Hello everyone and welcome to a mini-series exploring the different sheep breeds out there and the qualities of their wool when it comes to spinning. And in this video we are going to be focusing on Corriedale. And Corriedale sheep actually originate from the South Island of New Zealand, where they were first described around the mid-1800s, although they weren't formally recognised until the early 1900s. It is the produce of a cross primarily between merino sheep, famous for their lustrous, long, soft fleeces, but a preference for rather drier, more arid conditions than you find in New Zealand, and with the coarser but much, much hardier English Lincoln sheep. This created the Corriedale, a sheep that can withstand both harsh, wet weather and still produce a lovely soft wool that can be worn right next to the skin. And as the breed was developed specifically for wool production, you will find that white is by far the most commonly available colour to purchase, and it tends to be a little bit cheaper than the other colours as well. Although the Corriedale breed does actually have quite a wide range of different colours in it, ranging right the way through from pale greys and browns all the way through to almost black. This particular wool that I'm working with is this wonderful cool light grey colour, which has an almost bluish undertone to it and let's take a little bit of a closer look at it. And one of the things that makes Corriedale so pleasant to work with, especially if you're a spinner, is that it has that ideal staple length of 10 to 15 centimetres, giving you a length that is comfortable to work with, there's enough length in the fibre in order for it to be able to grip onto itself easily, but it's not so long that it becomes a challenge to manage, it's easy to know where to put your hands with Corriedale. You often find with very short staples that the wool needs an awful lot of spin in it in order to get enough twist for those fibres to grip onto each other and hold together, while with very long staples they tend to grip too much, making it a challenge to keep your spinning consistent, especially if you happen to be a beginner spinner. But Corriedale's staple length of 10 to 15 centimetres is very easy, a very ergonomic length to work with. But while the staple length is a great feature, it is certainly not Corriedale's main selling point, which is that the wool is delightfully soft. With a typical micron count between 24 and 31, it can be worn next to the skin by all but the most sensitive of people. Although just to point out, of course, you will find that the nature of the yarn you produce will change depending on how you've spun it and how much you've worked with it. The fibre also has a very nice crimp, it's even and runs right down the full length of the fibre, and so it produces a surprisingly strong single, even when it's been spun very fine. But what is it like to actually work with? And of all the wools out there and all the different breeds that I have tried, I can honestly say that spinning with Corriedale is a dream. It has the perfect staple length combined with that lovely soft quality to it, without being flyaway or too slippery to get a good grip on. The wool has substance without being coarse. Spun into a two-ply yarn, it holds its shape very nicely once it's been set as well, and it's easy to work with, both for crocheters and knitters. Personally, as a crocheter, I find Corriedale is ideal for the work that I do, as it can be spun very evenly, very easily, even if you're a beginner, you don't need too much practice to work with it. It is smooth without being too silky, and I find it rarely splits when I'm trying to pass the hook through any of the gaps. It's also quite a strong wool, and so for blankets it holds its shape very nicely. And the only real downside that I find to Corriedale is that because it's very soft, it has lost some of the warmth, it has a slight coolness to the touch, which may or may not be what you're looking for. I'm sure you can tell though from the tone of this video, the Corridale is definitely one for beginner spinners to try. The combination of great staple length with a wool that is soft and usable, while not being slippery or a challenge to spin, makes this a perfect beginner fleece to work with. Anyway though, I hope you've enjoyed this little video all about Corriedale wool. Happy spinning everyone, and I will see you again soon.